Hi guys, welcome back to the acne channel. Today we are talking about the five main reasons why your acne scars are just not healing. Let me guess, you've been doing everything, using the right products, but somehow your acne scars are still not going away. Well, let's go over some of the more common mistakes that might change your acne scar game forever. Hi, my name is Yurai and I'm the skincare stan. Let's remind ourselves of the types of acne scars and how we can treat them. So there are two main types of acne scars that acne can leave behind. Deeper surface scarring and pigmentation. Pigmentation can be stuff like post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or post-inflammatory erythema. And then there are those deeper scars like ice pick scars rolling scars, box scar scars, atropic scars, and even keloid scars. Now, a word of warning, when it comes to healing those deeper post-surface scars, it is important to know that skincare products can only take you so far. More often than not, for those deep tissue scars, you are going to need to look into cosmetic procedures done by a licensed esthetician or a dermatologist. Now, that doesn't mean that skincare won't work at all. Products like good retinol, vitamin C, and a dermastamper can be your best friends on your acne scar journey. However, uh, let's go over some of the most common mistakes that you might be doing that might be setting you back. Let's go. Reason number one. You are not applying enough sunscreen. Hopefully, we all know by now that wearing your SPF protection is key to making sure your skin remains happy and healthy. The same thing goes for acne scars. Damaging UVA light from the sun penetrates deeply into your dermis and wrecks havoc on your collagen. This means your skin won't have the necessary building blocks to heal and repair itself correctly after an acne breakout. We absolutely need to make sure that we are applying our sunscreen correctly. When applying sunscreen, follow this rule. Two finger lengths for your face and ears, and then another finger for your neck. Also, always use a dedicated SPF product so you can use a proper amount. If you are using one of those BB creams or a powder with SPF, you're never really going to get the right amount of product to get the SPF protection value advertised on the bottle. So think of those products as an extra little layer of protection that works in tandem with your main SPF product. Okay, reason number two, you are not reapplying sunscreen often enough. Acne scars are super sensitive to sunlight. Even smaller amounts of exposure can really disrupt the healing process and make those acne scars stick around much, much longer. Ideally, you should be reapplying your sunscreen every two to three hours. And even more often, if you are outdoors, sweating profusely, or after every swim in the pool or the sea. Now, I know that this might seem like a little bit much, but think of it this way. You are spending so much time and so much money on your acne scar fighting skincare products and why would you let it go to waste by not wearing adequate skin care and sun care protection? If you are having problems applying it on the go, there are fabulous SPF protections out there that come in form of gentle mists that you don't have to massage into your face. I always use those to boost my SPF protection when I'm out and about. Also, if you are on the go, you don't have a place to wash your hands, you can use your regular makeup sponge and just tap in your regular SPF lotion into your face without ever using your fingers. Another great tip that saved me a lot of stress. Once you get a hang of it and start seeing the results of proper sunscreen use, you're never going to want to go back, I promise you. Now, reason number three. 
your products might not be absorbing properly. Let's talk skincare products. They are formulated with stuff that fight acne scars and hyperpigmentation. Vitamin C, alpha arbutin, licorice root extract. I love how these go in and battle pigmentation. That said, sometimes they just don't work. One of the reasons why is that your skin might be having problems absorbing them. What I love doing is a simple trick including a derma stamper, something like this, the Banisher 2.0 by the brand Banish. This is actually designed to be safe for your skin, unlike those old derma rollers which can cause micro tears and irritation. What does a derma stamp do? Well, it actually creates hundreds and thousands of micro channels on your skin that not only boosts collagen production, which is great for acne scars, but also acts as tunnels for your skincare products to absorb deeper into your skin. I love using my derma stamper and then following it up with an alpha arbutin plus hyaluronic acid serum by The Ordinary and finishing off with the Banish oil, which has vitamin C in it. These two acne scar superstars really go in deep into my skin and get to work. Immediately, I noticed a dramatic change since I figured out this method. But please be warned, don't apply actives like retinol or exfoliating acids right after derma stamping. Let your skin recover for at least 24 hours before continuing with those. Reason number four, you are not exfoliating enough or exfoliating too much. Now, I know this might sound a little bit confusing. How can you tell when is enough and when is too much? Well, it depends on your skin. However, in general, I recommend exfoliating only two to three times a week. It removes that upper dead layer of our skin and it really enhances the look of textured skin. This can make your deeper acne scars look less noticeable and also it can help boost the turnover rate of your skin resulting in a more radiant complexion. Make sure to avoid harsh physical scrubs and opt for chemical exfoliants like glycolic acid, mandelic acid, lactic acid or polyhydroxy acids. Start slowly and then month after month slowly up your dosage. But also remember to stop at one point because overusing exfoliating acids can really damage your skin's protective barrier, which in turn will make your skin more susceptible to damage. Reason number five, you are not using the right retinol and vitamin C formula. They can really help boost collagen production and thus help with acne scars. What we need to remember is that not all vitamin C and not all retinols are made the same. Both of these amazing skincare ingredients are known for being unstable. Vitamin C, for example, is the most potent in its true form, ascorbic acid. Now, ascorbic acid can oxidize easily. So cosmetic chemist came up with a solution to keep it stable and help it penetrate into your skin better. How did they do it? They added vitamin E and ferulic acid into the vitamin C formulation. So before you buy your next vitamin C product, make sure it has real ascorbic acid and that the ingredient list includes ferulic acid and vitamin E for stability. The Banish Oil is one of my all-time favorites when it comes to vitamin C for this very reasons. It has both vitamin E and ferulic acid to keep it stable and to help it penetrate my skin better. As for retinols, there are a lot of products being marketed as retinol when they're in fact just an ingredient called retinol palmitate, which hasn't been proven to be nearly as effective. Also, remember that retinol is very sensitive to light. So, if you see a retinol product in a transparent bottle, know that it's probably not in its active form anymore. 
I personally enjoy using the retinol product by uh, Geek and Gorgeous and I also enjoy using the La Roche-Posay retinol as a starting point. So I really hope that these five tips can help you upgrade your skincare game. I know they really did for me. Sometimes it's not about buying more skincare products and it's more about education and how we are using these products that we already have. While I understand the need to minimize acne scars I also want to remind you and myself that textured skin isn't a bad thing like be patient with your skincare and be kind with yourself compliment your skin and promise me you will smile to yourself in the mirror acne scars or no acne scars until next time see you around bye